Good morning, children. Good, Good morning. morning. You sure have a lot of trees here. We're trying to give our set a very natural look for today's show. Joan Embry is your guest today, right? Yes, and she's bringing rare and unusual animals. You know how much I love animals, and I admire her work. Mm -hmm. I'd love to meet her. I'm sure we can arrange that. I'll call you when she gets here. Thank you. I'm getting to meet so many celebrities since I started here. <laughs> Good morning, campers. campers. Campers? It's so much fun in here, it feels like summer camp. I see. Well, campers, this is going. Okay, well, the opening title sequence. Three, two, one, and take it. Good morning and welcome to the Kid Songs TV show. The one and only show made by kids, for kids, and starring kids. Hi, I'm Sergio Centeno. And I'm Tiffany Burton. And we're the Beatles! Tiffany, Sergio, is it true that today we're doing another show on animals? It sure is. We have a wonderful guest, Joan Embry from the San Diego Zoo, and she's brought some very interesting animals with her. Oh, goody! I love animals! What is she bringing? A cheetah, a toucan, and a spring hoss. What are those? You'll have to stay around to find out. Okie dokie! So let's start our show with a song filled with interesting animals called... Jeepers Creepers! Jeepers Creepers Where'd you get those beepers? Jeepers Creepers Where'd you get those eyes? Gosh, I'll get up. Get up! How'd they get so lit up? Gosh, I'll get up. How'd they get that size? Golly gee, when you turn those heaters on, to gather food and even though it's really big it's hollow and very light how does it eat it doesn't say you know I'll make that one of my questions when I interview Joan Embry good idea I've never seen a real reindeer before have you no not even at the zoo I wish I was here when they made this next video but it was before my time oops I need to cue them and cue our next song is about one of the most famous animals in the world. Yet hardly anyone has ever seen him. So let's join the Kid Songs kids at the North Pole where they meet Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it.
like to have a snake, but Mom doesn't like the idea. <laughs> I have an iguana, two frogs, and a box turtle. I don't really like reptiles. I like animals I can cuddle with. You can cuddle with a snake. No, thanks. I'd rather watch reptiles on video only. I guess that's our reminder to play a song. <laughs> Cue the host. The Kid Songs kids got to hold some little bitty baby alligators in this next song. Alligators are reptiles who can be very dangerous, so never try to hold or pet one yourself. What's a reptile? An animal whose body is covered with scales, usually cold-blooded. Very interesting. I am not a reptile. <laughs> no, Billy, you definitely are not. But you can have a good old time singing about them in... See you later, alligator! <laughs> the toucan, but Joan is also bringing in a spring hoss. What is that? I have no idea. Me either. I'll check in the computer. Now where did that World of Animals book go? Aha! Uh -huh. I found an article here. It says that it's from South America and has really strong back legs. It can jump like a kangaroo. Wow. Let's keep looking. Okay. Lana, you really love animals, don't you? Yes. I'm thinking of being a veterinarian when I grow up. What's up? Veterinarian. A doctor for animals. Oh, how lovely. I hope you become one. Me too. Oh, excuse me. In three, two, and cue. Our next video is about an animal who was very popular with the children around the world. Elephants are very intelligent animals who live in family groups for their whole lives. But many elephants have been killed by hunters and now elephants are endangered species. Let's enjoy a friendly baby elephant named Belle in our video of... Oh, you beautiful doll! Oh, you beautiful doll! You great big beautiful doll! Let me put my arms about you I could never live without you Oh, you beautiful doll! You great big beautiful doll!
song we haven't played in a long time. What? what? The Purple People Eater. That's a really fun video, but it's not about animals. Well, if it's not an animal, what is it? Good point. <laughs> Go ahead and play it. Sarah, let the host know Purple People Eater is next. You've got a Purple People Eater. Where? <laughs> no, not here. On the TV. You've got to introduce it now. Okay, Sarah, we can handle it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I was worried. One day, the Kids Songs kids were out hiking with their science professor, and something very unusual happened. We could tell you about it, but we won't, because it's a lot more fun to watch The, the Purple People Eater. Well, I saw the thing coming out of the sky. I had a one long home and a one big eye. I commenced to shake and then I said, ooh, it looks like the Purple People eating me. It was a one-eyed, one-horned, five Purple People Eater. One-eyed, one-horned, People eat it. One eye, one horn, fine purple people eat it. Sure looks strange to me. One eye. Well, it came down to earth and it went in a tree. I said, Mr. Purple people eat it, don't be me. I heard him say in a voice so gruff. I wouldn't eat you cause you're so tough. It wasn't one eye, one horn, fine purple people eat it. One eye, one horn, fine purple people eat it. One eye, one horn, fine purple people eat it. Sure looks strange to me. What is the reason that you came to land? I wanna get a job in a rock and roll band. Well, bless my soul, rock and roll, flying purple people eat a pigeon toe, and the cold flying purple people eat a he wears short shorts. Friendly little people, you what a sight to see. Well, I was on the tree and I lit on the ground, and it started to rock, a really rock and roll. per hour. Wow, there was a lot of information on the cheetah. He was the easy one. So your questions are all done. Yep, I know what I'm doing. Thanks for working with me, guys. Sure, I enjoyed it. Anytime. One of my favorite kids' song videos ever is the one with five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh, that's my favorite. It makes me laugh every time I see it. <laughs> Laughing is good. Let's see those silly critters again. Okay, okay. Hey, so are you ready to play it? Give me a few seconds and I'll get it. Sarah, cue the host. Our next video features some very athletic monkeys. And a wise old chimpanzee doctor who gives some very important advice. Check it out in... Bye, Bye little, little monkeys! monkeys.
the toucan, then the spring hoss, and the cheetah last. Okay, that'll make it easier. Hey, Subud, I've been meaning to tell you how much I like that new question time graphic you made. Thanks a lot. It's ready to roll. Well, then roll it. Three, two, one, and take it. And cue the host. Our guest today is an animal lover and a well-known zoologist. At her home, she has over a dozen horses, dogs, cats, and a bull. Today, she has brought three very different critters from the San Diego Zoo. Let's welcome Joan Embry and Mimi Paley to Question Time. Thank you, Tiffany and Sergio. It's a pleasure having Joan Embry on our show today. Hi. This is a beautiful toucan. Yes, this is a toco toucan. He's the largest toucan species. Can you tell me about his beak? It's so big. His beak is specialized for his being able to reach the end of a branch so that you can collect fruit. And if you look below you, uh, you have some grapes there. It looks like his beak would be heavy, but if you toss that grape up, you can see you can actually use his beak very efficiently. So go ahead and toss him a grape. Just toss it right up. Now see how well he catches that. And watch now as he swallows. He swallows it whole. So if the grape is too big, he has to make it smaller. He does that with the serrated edges on his beak, just like a steak knife. And what else is unusual about him? Well, let me see if we can take his beak, we can open it up, and show you his very unique tongue. Fruit-eating or nectar-eating birds have a specialized tongue that looks like a feather, and it actually helps to pick up the, the juices that they eat or the nectar that they eat. And uh, the other thing is that he's very agile hopping branch to branch. He doesn't really need to fly because he can turn completely around on a branch. What's his name? His name is Pinocchio. Well, thank you, Pinocchio, for coming on our show. Now, what do you call this animal? This is called a spring hoss. He's a little bit unusual looking. He almost looks a little bit like a kangaroo. He's actually a rodent. He's nocturnal, right? He is nocturnal, and if you look, he has very large eyes, and some of the nocturnal animals do. Where does he live? This animal lives underground, so we're going to show you what a good digger he is. They make tunnels underground. Now, see, what he's doing here is after he pulls the ground with his front feet, then he has to get it out of the tunnel, so he uses his back feet to push it right back out of the hole. Otherwise, as he dug, the sand would keep going down into his hole. Well, thank you, little guy. Now, we have a cheetah with us. I understand they're the fastest animals on the earth. How fast do they run? They can run as fast as you drive on the freeway, about 55 to 65 miles per hour, but only for short distances. Are cheetahs endangered? They are endangered. There are only estimated to be about 10,000 left in the wild. What can people do to help them? Well, cheetahs rely on habitat to survive. And what we have to remember is that we have to allow and save habitat for animals like this before it's too late. They also rely on natural resources that humans use. So anytime we can recycle or think about the effects that our activities have on wild habitat, um, that will help the wild animals that live there. We can learn more about them in shows like this, learn about cheetahs, how beautiful they are, and we can join wildlife groups. Sometimes he'll lick my hand. You want to put your hand up there and see real flat and see if he'll lick your hand? Okay. He's nice and flat. There. He has a very rough tongue. Yeah. It kind of feels like when your dad doesn't shave in the morning. <laughs> it tickles. And it tickles. It tickles, it tickles. And what's his name? His name is Kramer because shortly after he was born, he had a wild head of hair. Well, thank you for coming on the Kid Songs TV show. And thank you, Kramer, for coming also. And remember, we've got more fascinating guests on the next Question Time. Absolutely fascinating. She's a wonderful guest. Yeah, and that spring haas was remarkable. It looks like a whole bunch of animals just put together like that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's one way to describe it. <laughs> okay, troops, we're going into the sing-along. And cue the hosts. Appropriately, Billy and Ruby have picked a song about animals for their sing-along today. Actually, it compares sizes and shapes of lots of different animals. I think a lot of you know it already. It's called, Do Your Ears Hang Low? Now, one thing my ears do not do is hang low. No doubt about it. We've got perky ears, that's for sure. And very cute, fluffy tails. So, kiddos, get up and let's sing and dance to Do Your Ears Hang Low. Do 
you hear a sign roll? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? Tell me about your legs. Are they short or are they thin? Are they tall or wide? If you're racing, will they win? Do they get you where you're going? Are they fast or are they slow? And tell me about your legs. Look at how big the elephant is! The minimum of labor Do your ears hang high Do you wave them to your neighbor With the minimum of labor Do your ears hang high Do your ears hang high Do your ears hang high I don't mind you Okay kids, one more song We're ready Then cue the host There's an old cowboy expression About riding off into the sunset At the end of the day but this is kids' songs, so we're going to dance our way off the air as we bring this show to a close. So join us, and us, and don't you just love to host! The conga is not my favorite. The disco is just not my style. The macarena not what I'm after. But there is one thing that makes me smile. Step and glide, swing and sway. All of your cares will float away. Step and glide, swing and sway. Don't you just love the waltz? The twist doesn't have the motion. The swim doesn't have the beat. I need to be part of the music that makes me move my feet. Step and glide, swing and sway. All of your cares will float away. Step and glide, swing and sway. Don't you just love to waltz? Hey, Ruby, I didn't know that you played the harp. Me neither. The fruit doesn't have any footsteps. The monkey is not very hip. And the pretty sure makes me look foolish. But I've got a wonderful tip. Step and glide, swing and sway. All of your cares will float away. Step and glide, swing and sway. Don't you just love to waltz? Don't you just love to waltz? Don't you just love to waltz? Oh, oh, thank you so much. Oh. Sarah, tell the host to wrap it up. Okay, host, we're ready to close the show in three, two, and cue. Well, kiddos, that's all we have time for on this episode of the Kid Songs TV show. The one and only show made by kids. For kids. And starring kids. And big old. See ya. See ya. Bye.
Hi, I'm Sir Joe Centeno. And I'm Tiffany Burton. And, and we're the Biggles. We want you to know that you can find all your favorite kid songs music videos on home video. And on DVD, too. Saw a wee, And it plays and plays again and again. A mom's dream come true. They're the best in the whole wide world. Trust me. And our A Day Act series follows the kids' songs kids on singing and dancing adventures to really fun places like amusement parks and Old McDonald's Farm. Old McDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on his farm he had a cow. E I E I O. have the all-new Kid Songs I Can Series 2. It stars me and my big sister Ruby. Check it out. Then you take the bread and you spread it. You spread it. Then you take the bread and you spread it. You spread it for your peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Home videos about something kids love, like animals. Let's show the kids some really cute animals. My favorite kid song collection! It's got more than a hundred songs and 48 pages of lyrics! So look for the colorful kid songs logo on your favorite store and join in the sing-along fun! There are 24 different kid songs music videos available! And believe you me, you want them all! Remember, you can find all your favorite kid songs products in stores and at www.kidsongs.com! The Kid Songs audio and video collection, they're the greatest. See ya. See ya. Bye.